So in this video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 mistakes that car owners make on their car. And they are in no particular order. Number one, getting complacent and not inspecting the car regularly. Just take a few seconds to walk around to see if there is anything abnormal. For example, you wanna make sure your headlights are good. Check. And you also wanna make sure your taillights are good. Got it. And you absolutely don't wanna forget about your turn signals. Roger. Make it into a habit. This could actually save your life, and more importantly, this could save you from getting a ticket. Number two, starting your car and driving away immediately. Oh no, you didn't. Well, I'm no mechanic, but that's supposed to be really bad for the engine because it takes 10 or 15 seconds to get oil to the critical components. And it takes even longer at winter with cold conditions because the oil gets thick. Number three. Now, this one is really bad for the engine. That's hitting the pedal to the metal before the car gets warm or to the operating temperature. Number four. Deciding to clean the engine with water. There's a lot of clean freaks out there. Just because they wash their car, they think it's a good idea to wash their engine. Don't do that. That could potentially destroy a lot of electronic parts. The engine is supposed to be dirty and greasy. Leave it alone. Just leave me, leave alone. me alone. Number five, ignoring the check engine light. I'm broke. Damn. Damn, the struggle is real. Some people actually have the money but don't wanna fix it. They just pretend the check engine light is not there. Obviously, that's gonna lead to a lot of problems. Number six, not using your emergency brakes when you're at a complete stop. It's supposed to help your transmission, especially when you're at a hill or uneven ground. Well, look at you acting responsible like. Good job. Number seven, not stopping at a complete stop before you change your gears. I'm actually really bad at this one because whenever I reverse, I don't completely stop before I shift into drive. Lord, please help this person. Number eight, not using neutral. So whenever you stop your car at a red light, go ahead and shift to neutral because that's gonna avoid all the parts connected to the clutch being worn out. Most of the time I put my car on neutral whenever I'm in fast food drive through or at heavy traffic. Number nine, ignoring your tires. Why you wanna go and do that? Every now and then you gotta make sure that your tire tread are not worn out. You gotta look out for cuts, slashes, anything abnormal. And this one is big, checking the tire pressure. You gotta make sure it's not overinflated or underinflated. If you don't know how much pressure to put, just look at the tire. It usually tells you how much PSI you gotta put in. If you really wanna get an accurate measurement, do it when you're home, when it's cold outside, because whenever you drive off the car, the tires get warm and that will change the pressure. And last but not least, number 10 wrong fluids in the wrong containers there's a lot of proud people out there men and women they don't want to ask for help so they just do whatever that is not good it's okay that you don't know anything about cars you could slowly learn but don't or do whatever works pretend to be somebody that you're not that's going to cost you a lot of guacamoles man i love guacamole okay now that you know what uh, mistakes most car owners make it's your responsibility to do the right thing okay now i can go to sleep akuna matata my friends and until next time i'll see you soon